It's already been a soggy start to the Easter camping tradition at San Antonio Parks. Families who staked out their spot today had to do so in the rain. Tiffany Huertos with why to these families getting drenched is not as important as keeping the longstanding tradition going. I got here about seven in the morning and it was it was kind of like this. But then as I started setting up, as you can see on that end, um, it started pouring on me. Robert Perez was on a mission no, this not, morning, not. looking for the perfect camping spot at Woodlawn Lake Park. Last year, we were at a different spot and there was no shade. But this year, Robert found a spot by a tree. On the weekend, you know, I'll have my sister-in-law's here, um, my wife and, and our children, and, you know, and just spend the, spend the day with the family, you know, because that's really what it's all about. It's the second year his family will participate in a San Antonio tradition of camping at a park for Easter. Robert says they will have a lot of food and music. Pajitas and sausage and chicken and jalapeno poppers and burgers and hot dogs and yeah, so all of that. Although Robert is the only one set up right now, park officials expect more people throughout the day. Park curfew will be lifted beginning at 11 p.m. tonight and will resume at 11 p.m. on Easter Sunday. We'll have um, volunteers and stewards out and about letting people know, reminding folks, hey, um, we have trash bags. Remember to recycle and pick up your trash before you leave. Park officials say during last year's Easter weekend, visitors disposed of 19 tons of trash and five tons of recycling in Bracken Ridge Park alone. The rain's not going to stop you from having fun. No, it's not. It's not going to stop us from having fun at all. Tiffany Huertas, KSET 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSET.